38 ways to save a life. These are their recommendations released by a coroner's jury today after spending three weeks hearing evidence in the tragedy that is Michael McIsaac. He's the Ajax man who was shot dead by Durham police three and a half years ago. Well, it's hard. I drive by the graveyard and I say, hi, Michael, and I probably cry. But, I mean, that's it. It's not right for him to go before me. Her son Michael's final moments captured on cell phone video as he was shot to death in Ajax in December of 2013. He likely first heard about the story because of this. Reports of a man running naked through the streets in the middle of winter. The Durham officer who fired the deadly shots was cleared of any wrongdoing, but the coroner's inquest today put the issue of de-escalation and mental health training at the forefront of their 38 recommendations, including these. Expand de-escalation training by one week at Ontario's police college. Ensure all Durham police officers have de-escalation training and retraining on an annual basis. Train officers to stop shouting commands and focus on diffusing strategies instead. As well, mandatory in-depth mental health Health training for all officers. We're very happy with the uh, increase in mental health training. I think uh, police officers and the ministry say how mental health has changed over the years, 20 years, and now police officers deal with these type situations more often. Well, yes, but they've never adjusted their training. You have to adjust your training, spend a full week on the escalation, and requalify every year. It's, it's an easy thing to do. All deaths are tragedy. Preventable dr deaths. Are an enormous tragedy. And yet history is working against these recommendations. As City News first reported earlier this summer, a year-long investigation by the Innocence Project examined inquests into 65 cases of police-involved shooting deaths, poured over 39 inquests over decades, as well as hundreds of recommendations. Not one recommendation involving de-escalation or mental health training has ever been implemented. Do you have faith in a system? No. But now may be the time for the province and police to listen. When I first started doing this work 20 years ago, um, the general pub public had a lot of faith and trust in the officer's decision making in that moment. There were not public outcries for the loss of life of individuals in crisis. That attitude is changing. The hope is that the political action will now follow the public sentiment and the outrage that these lives continue to be lost and it's not necessary, it's preventable. With the photo of her dead son behind her, this mother hopes these recommendations will trigger change. It'd be nice that the recommendations were, didn't, you know, just sit on the shelf or they were followed. I'm sure there's been lots of good recommendations and all the inquests that have been held. But I'm a little bit, you know, until I see something done, you know, and my son would be alive today if a few of them had been followed. Now, lawyers for the McIsaac family say they're giving Durham police and the province six months to enact these changes before they start putting the pressure on them to do so. They also want the SIU to reopen that investigation that cleared the Durham police officer who shot Michael McIsaac 12 seconds after arriving on scene.